The next part of the history of pilgrimages uh, is the history of Chinese monks uh, coming to uh, India. Uh, and there are some very, very famous Chinese monks uh, that came all the way from China, all the way to India. And it was an incredibly arduous journey in those days to travel from China. Uh, they traveled from what was the capital of China in those days, uh, Xi'an. Uh, I think that's how we pronounce it, but I may have gotten that wrong here. And they traveled then westward along the Silk Road. And if any of you have studied the map for what it looks like in those areas, it is extremely isolated and, and of course much, much worse 1,500 to 2,000 years ago than it is today. It's all very high altitude, and deserts, snow, and cold winds and all these things. And then, having traversed all those deserts, then you have to tra cross these enormous mountains at the other end, uh, either the Himalaya mountains or the Hindu Kush, depending a bit on which route you take. Yeah. And then, after only having crossed those mountains, do you actually enter India proper? Uh, there's about 2,000 kilometers of travel there, and the landscape is incredibly barren and uh, uh, very difficult to cross. And lots of these Chinese monks died on the way. They died. That's how keen they were to go on this pilgrimage. They couldn't handle it, died of altitude sickness, of cold, all kinds of things, and never, of course, made it back again to China.